If we have two springs in parallel, we can work out their overall spring constant. So we've got spring number one, spring number two, set up in parallel with a force F being applied. Now for spring one, we know that F1 is equal to K1 X1. And for, F, for, for spring number two, F2 is equal to K2 X2. We also know that F is equal to KT, which is going to be the overall or total spring constant for this uh, system times X. Now, this force is going to be equal to the force applied at 1 plus the force applied at 2. So we can say that F equals F1 plus F2. We can then substitute these back in uh, like this. And therefore, we can say that KTx is equal to K1x1 plus K2x2. Now, of course, um, we know that um, the extension of all of these things is going to be identical. So just as much as spring number one is extended by distance x, spring number two is going to be extended by the same distance as well. And therefore we can say that x is equal to x1, which equals x2, and therefore these cancel. And therefore we can say that kt, the overall or combined spring constant, is equal to k1 plus k2. And if we had multiple springs in parallel, we'd find that the total spring constant is equal to k1 plus k2, plus however many springs that we have. So that's a quick way to derive the equation for the spring constant for springs in parallel.